Pakistan is reeling with three explosions that killed at least 57 people. The attacks in Balochistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa are just latest in the series of such terror attacks in the country. A report by Pakistan Institute for Conflict and Security tells that the country saw an 83% surge in terror attacks in the month of August, while around 300 attacks have been carried in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa alone this year. This begs the question, what is leading to this immense surge? Pakistan-based Tariqa Taliban have claimed responsibility for multiple attacks in the country lately. Pakistan has alleged that TTP's fighters are using Afghan land as safe havens to launch attacks, a charge repeatedly denied by the Afghan Taliban. Meanwhile, Pakistan Taliban has condemned the latest attacks and called the loss of life tragic. The group says that it does not target mosques, seminars, schools and public gatherings. Some experts now point that it could be the Islamic State behind the attacks. There are two regional branches of Islamic State operating in Pakistan. They are the Islamic State Khorasan Province or the ISKP and Islamic State Pakistan Province or the ISPP. And they have a history of targeting public ceremonies and locations that achieve maximum casualties. ISKP has a stronger presence in areas close to Hangu district in Haibai Pakhtunkhwa and has previously claimed responsibility for a deadly attack in the region. While Afghan Taliban has clamped down on ISKP's operation since coming to power, the group's activities have seen an increase in Pakistan. These attacks seen as a part of ISKP and ISPP's battle for survival. Meanwhile, amid a political turmoil, Pakistan is heading towards a general election next year. Past election campaigns have also been marred with violence, with certain political parties targeted by the Pakistan Taliban. Now, the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz Party has called for rallies in Lahore from October 1st to 8th. This ahead of the scheduled return of former Prime Minister and party leader Nawaz Sharif to Pakistan on October 21st. As per reports, he will address a rally upon his return and the self-exile leader will appear before court next day. Party leader say Sharif will lead party campaign but will also be ready to face any situation after his arrival. Apart from security and political woes, the country's economic outlook also faces a setback. Pakistan's Ministry of Finance states that inflation this month is expected to be around 29 to 31 percent. This marks a reversal of the recent downward trend in inflation, early this month, the Asian Development Outlook projected an average inflation rate of 25% for Pakistan in the current fiscal year. This projection positions Pakistan's inflation rate as the highest among all Asian economies despite having the fourth lowest economic growth rate. We Earn is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.